Internal Dialectics of the Internet Thesis At the turn of the 21st century, the bourgeois have acquired software corporations making billions of pounds, dollars and bitcoins in capital profits. To maintain the mode of communication reproduction of capital they have built a massive linked computer system with new software being written in the bourgeois interests constantly. Large monopolies have formed as they have bought smaller companies infrastructure and software. There needs to be a constant revolution in the writing of this software in order for the maximization of capital exploitation. The Internet contains websites owned by the mainstream media but also lots of interconnected social media websites where people can post pictures and text of their hum from meaningless lives. Underneath the websites is high-level HTML code and communications protocols. We won't elaborate on the technical details as this is dialectical philosophizing. The philosophy called postmodernism is most dominant by the current bourgeois intellectual culture and cite the Internet as a form of simulate crime, as they call it. The large corporations have bought large computers that store the websites called servers. Whereas the public masses in the first world are beginning to be able to buy small computers and connections, which can connect to these websites and also they can post their own text and photos and videos etc. The working masses that live in the first world have been bought off by cheap products manufactured in the third world. Corporate bourgeois ideology is transmitted through the internet and there are a small number of websites that have ideology in them that are in the workers' interests but they are few in number. State or governments have formed institutions that protect the corporation's websites and servers from any outside involvement. There is much talk of cybersecurity in the bourgeois media. They also hire groups of workers loyal to the corporations called IT professionals to write codes in the bourgeois interests and provide so-called security. The bourgeois state has created national security agencies that sift through the communications and store it in bulk ready to be analyzed later in the bourgeois interest. And to sell the masses habits at the speed of light to smaller companies so they can target them with advertisements, all at the speed of light. A constant revolution in the design of software is needed and this helps keep the bourgeois corporate owner's capital from advancing at the speed of light. Antithesis. Small groups of non-owners of capital keep their identity secret and cause criminal incursions into the bourgeois infrastructure and make disruptive attempts to block access to the corporate websites and are successful for a short period of time. Rival states break into other states' servers to capture information but a major cyber conflict hasn't broken out yet this century. Some small actors will gain access to these corporate websites and servers to acquire secret information and a few even publish this information in the public domain, and they get vilified for it by the bourgeoisie and their ideological infrastructure. Some small groups of non-owner lower class attempt to steal money from ordinary working class users and use second-hand software to do this. Some larger scale attempts have even tried to blackmail public and private sector organizations on a larger scale. What can done by the working class users to increase this antithesis? The workers can increase their knowledge of how these communications systems of the bourgeois corporations function in order to advance their class interest. To this date no working class cyber revolution has taken place, that would work in the workers' interests but perhaps this will occur in future. New software could be written and new movements formed to fight back against the internal contradiction that the bourgeois corporate class's interest is now tightly linked their domination of the internet. Synthesis The current synthesis is the contradiction between bourgeois reliance on the internet and their need for the vile concept of intellectual property is in conflict with the vulnerabilities that the system that needs to be open enough for communications to be free enough for trade, exploitation and dominance. The ideology of the superstructure